everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Blaze, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I don't know why I said that with the most smug voice. Well, hey there, everybody. You know what? Let's do, um, let's do cycles. Because I freaking lost on my fourth run, which is pretty embarrassing. But that's okay, we'll do some cycles for now. Get back into the groove. 4v1r, 68 tv What's the matter? Couldn't it have been one more television? Notice that I didn't say TV. That's because TV is a nickname, and nicknames are for friends, and television is a no friend of mine. <laughs> I, you'd be surprised. Well, no, you wouldn't be surprised, because that sounds like a, a pompous thing to say. It's actually a quote from a sketch show um, called Mr. Show. It's very, you know, popular. People know what it is. It has David Cross. You may know him from Alvin and the Chipmunks and also Scary Movie 2. He's also a stand-up comedian of, of some repute. Uh, and Bob Odenkirk, who you probably know best as uh, Saul Goodman from Breaking Bad. It's from the mid 1990s it's a great show but sometimes i say that and people go wow you're a fucking asshole and i'm like man it's, you know i could see how you'd think that and maybe you're right but not for the reason that you think also i own a tv i even own cable i find myself in the weird set of own cable no one owns cable dog but you know what i mean uh infamy right off the bat here is fine and a half spirit heart with uh, maybe a chance to get a little bit more here in just a second but I find myself being on the side of the debate that's like, you know what, I still, I like TV. I still watch TV from time to time. Kate and I watch the Food Network as we fold laundry. Is it is it probably worth the amount of money we spend on it monthly? No, but we got it for free for a year when we moved in. It's kind of a move-in special. Was it actually free? Well, no, we got it for free as long as we got our internet through this company. So it was an incentivized deal. That was actually good. But also, sports... You know, I know, dude, trust me, I know that there are services out there where you can watch some sports online. But uh, it's nice having them on the TV as well when people come over. I can just be like, hey, don't worry about hooking your laptop up with an HDMI cord to this little machine here. You can just sit on our couch and we can watch the Canucks lose together. Um, also, that'll be $4 to pay for your share of the cable this month. No, we don't, we don't do that. Man, we are actually kind of balling out of control here. We could just get a small rock. We did not get a small rock. We got an extra key. Uh, I don't really see many problems in our near future here. How do we get screwed? You know how we get screwed. Deal with the devil. No precedent. Next floor, deal with the angel. It sucks. Next floor, you know, no deal. Next floor, deal with the angel. It sucks. That's how it happens. But for right now, you know, we've got a great chance of getting to our deal with the devil. And that's really the only thing... You know, we have control over until we actually see what items are and we might have a chance to reroll them. I am disappointed that I lost that last Eden run. I don't think we had to lose that. I, I think that that was a winnable run that I fucked up. But, uh, that's alright. A little bit of a, you know, post-streak hangover. I can live with it. It happens. We'll start out here with a uh, ball of bandages and head down to the next floor after only two and a half minutes. A pretty good start. And we might even have a chance to get an arcade here. Which is fine by me now. Ball of Bandages is actually a really nice upgrade to have if we end up fighting the Haunt, so I'm happy to see that. And we will go to our Double Key Room, and we will go to our Curse Room, even though it's a touch risky. Now, again, a lot of what I'm doing here is a touch risky. It's the old classic Northern Lion paradigm of getting these orbitals in the early game and the angels in the outfield before actually getting uh, the... Uh, like, before getting any damage, so I'm tempted to use them. Three will reroll all consumables in the ground, so probably, oh, wow. Probably single pennies we should reroll. Whoa, oh, 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 fiscally not that good, oh, okay. You know, I, I had a little bit of, I had a little bit of congestion stuck in my throat as I was doing that, so I was actually just surprised that it managed to work out half decently to begin with. Plus, I've only heard the song, like, three times. Okay, I really thought we'd make that. Now I feel... Quite stupid indeed. We don't want to reroll all of these. We just want to reroll the money. Tell me I can get into my spirit heart for free. Or <laughs> into my spirit heart, sorry. Into my uh, curse room. If I can get into my curse room for free, I could pick up a spirit heart for free, which is more along the lines of what I was asking for to begin with. Uh, spiders? Two of the same pill. They're both Are You a Wizard? Fantastic. And uh, tarot card. Tarot card is justice. Justice card gives us a little bit. Tempted to use the three room already, but the longer we wait on it, the better it should be. I kind of hate that we have Are You a Wizard right now, but there are some avenues with which I can shoot here. Although it is a little risky. Just keep yourself safe here, and you got nothing to worry about. 
Are you a wizard is worn off? Should leave the penny on the ground. This one's a little weird. I don't like charm tears that much. Reroll it for Eve's Mascara. That's probably worse, but I kind of like it nonetheless. I think it gives us some interesting permutations. Uh, or interesting consequences, let's say. We'll buy our Spirit Heart, take our pill. Pill as I can see forever. Um, for one more cent, we can buy a battery charge, so I am going to pick up that one. We'll, we probably would have gotten it anyway, but... Why not, uh, you know, guarantee ourselves if it comes down to it. What is this one? Tears down. Oh, uh, that's, like, incredibly unfortunate. Inside of our second secret room, we get Swallowed Penny. This is... Our rate of fire is very, very bad. I'm going to go for our golden chest because we have that three room. And it go oh, give us the goat head. All right, all is forgiven then. Uh, let's see what the hell we got in here. It's pin. Pin with an unbelievably slow rate of fire. So I'm hoping... I thought maybe we could just sneak back there. You know what? We should take HP damage and then just re-roll it all. Or, or we should take damage and then get the money and re-roll it all with the three room. It could be interesting. We knew we were getting a deal with the devil either way here, so I wasn't sweating that too much. Get Demon Baby and the Nail. We'll take Demon Baby. I'd like to re-roll the Nail and we can get back in there. Uh, so I'm thinking this is like super risky. But I kind of like the idea of it. So we'll, that, that's as low as I'm comfortable getting for now. Now let's go back. Ignore all this. Don't walk on the spikes immediately. That would be a huge disappointment. And then we'll re-roll everything. Hopefully that doesn't re-roll the battery charge from the shop or I'll be the biggest idiot. So there's a bomb in there. We get a key out of this. The Cancer Trinket is a huge pickup for us, actually. Now all is forgiven. It did reroll the battery. However, as a result, we managed to get the Fanny Pack for three cents. Is it worth it? No. <laughs> it's not as good, obviously, but it's, it's okay. Down here, we didn't get anything. There was, like, a penny in here. It looks like it got rerolled into a penny. So that's exciting. Still just incredibly terrible rate of fire. That's That became a uh, ringworm. This became a golden chest and a red heart. This is our big room right here. We got a lot of red hearts. A lot of keys. And then that's that. Uh, shouldn't have re-rolled this. I don't really want the nail. I should have bought the battery charge first. And then we still could have done everything that we did. But we would have also had the opportunity to get that extra item. But that's okay. I think it's okay at least. But we are going to have just, just piss poor damage for quite some time. So, I mean, get used to this. It's my own fault for taking Eve's Mascara. I mean, Charm Tears is... If it's worse than Eve's Mascara, it's not that much worse. It would have been better to probably save the reroll instead. But here we are. Mom's Bra. This is not a good item. Really happy, let's put it that way, that we have the Goat Head. So I can just safely get a deal with the Devil on every single floor. So I can use my Orbital as much as I'm comfortable with. Which is much more than I should be comfortable with. Most of the time, I think. Gotta admit, our tears do do a lot of damage, but this is making me really regret Eve's Mascara. But it could be a good learning experience. Eve's Mascara has sucked for us, but because we got the... Um, we're just gonna go for the boss room as soon as possible. Hopefully we'll be able to buy another battery charge later. A little rusty on D6 usage, though, I'll admit. Um, maybe now in the future I won't be so quick to take Eve's Mascara. And we can just live with Charm Tears and not be so freaking greedy instead. I still think it's best not to reroll Mom's Bra until we see what's in this deal with the Devil. But we are going to waste a lot of potential rooms. I'm not going to dispute that because it's just the honest-to-goodness truth. Taking that damage doesn't bother me too much. I am a little surprised that we didn't get anything out of uh, Fanny Pack, though. Alright, so Demon Baby. I think I might have called you Demon Judgment earlier. Either way, you know... I still need you to help me out here. I'm going to need you to keep these enemies at bay. Do as much damage as possible. Curse room is tempting, but not in the cards for us right now. And it's pretty sad that Demon Baby actually almost certainly has more range than I do right now, but it's also a necessity. Pill we have not seen. Pretty fly, thank God. You could just... Get a shot over there? Is this not possible? I mean, it's gonna be possible to hit them. I think. Is it really impossible? I think I need to get them over here. No, no big deal while also dodging 500 shots. Oh my lord. We hit one! We hit one! 
I'd like to do this room so we can go to the second secret room up there. There we go, we got two. The shots do, <laughs> they do hit, it's not easy though. We did it all for a black heart, which actually turned out to be a totally fine deal. Another tier's downgrade, that's a big one. If we take that, we'd have to be as dumb as I am. Now, second secret room we know is not going to be up there, because we've already seen it. We'll open that anyway, get the money, get the two bombs instead. We don't need the spirit heart, so I guess I shouldn't have even bought it on the last floor now that I'm thinking about it. Why do we buy the extra spirit heart on the last floor? We got no deal with the devil to protect. Okay. Peep. Peep is going to be an annoying boss. I appreciate the black heart damage. I would appreciate it if you never summoned any creep, because I really need to get close to you. There is a tinted rock here. I wonder if I can get him to jump down close enough to get hit and also get the tinted rock. Man, if that had been small rock, everything would have been copa cheesy. That was a Fallout related joke. I, um, if you haven't seen the stream, it probably just made me sound like an asshole, which was the whole purpose of the, the joke in the first place, I suppose. It's almost like that TV one again. Okay, good deal with the devil, no crampos. Shot speed is actually not useless for us here. The moon, well, okay, we will take this. It's not incredible, but it's pretty good. Um, we should go to our curse room. Even though it'll cost us our spirit heart, I think it's worth it. We do have a reroll ready. We'll go back and reroll Mom's bra as well. Pretty much exactly worth our, the time invested there. And the Mom's bra reroll will hopefully turn out to be a little bit better for us. I'm not going to blow that up. I think we're better off having a bomb for Tinted Rocks in the future. And we get Anemic. Anemic is better than... Mom's bra, when we already have a decent spacebar item, but still really bad. Or pretty bad, at least. I it, Anemic is bad enough that I almost can't tell you what it does. It's like a headless baby, but only after you get hit once per room. It sounded like I was launching into just a terrible metaphor there temporarily, but that was not my intention. We'll leave the tears down pill. I'm not that interested in completely ruining my run. And, uh, tell you what, let's moon card right away. I like this. Hopefully we can get some decent uh, pills out of it. Liberty cap, can't take that over the cancer trinket. Question mark pill, pheromones, question mark pill. Hematemesis, I can see forever, is worth using even still. And we get that. Uh, yeah, tears down pill. One day we'll find PhD, man. But until then, tramps like us, baby, we were born to scum. Bow, 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 bow. Alrighty. Uh, we will go to Curse Room, even though it's going to cost us. We will check that out as well. That could be a teleport card. That's what we're looking for, a guppy item. Now we can start to entertain the idea of a guppy dream. Uh, where did my card go? There was a card. Did you not see this card? Oh, it's all the way down there now. There it is. Joker. It's a Joker card. Um, we will probably try to save this for the Cathedral. That was a great shot. I can't even be too mad about that one. I saw it coming in from a mile away, but I was like, there's no way that's going to hit me. Well, it did. And now, don't I look silly? That one probably should have gotten me as well. That would have really put us in a tight spot. Holy crap. Uh, you know what? I may actually just go into the... Uh, I may use the Joker card in a way that's going to make some people a little angry. Go into the second secret room, or not the second secret room, the boss trap room. See what the items are, teleport out. That way we don't have to fight them, but we can still get maybe a, another guppy item out of them. It's possible, at least. And it doesn't feel that silly now, does it? Considering we got two guppy items very, very quickly here. Um, if there's red chests or golden chests, maybe not golden chests, but red chests in here, we could, we could swing it. Still worth opening, I think. Monkey's paw. Could probably farm it, but let's just leave first. Red chests, red chests, red chests. Well, it... We didn't get what we wanted, but on the bright side, we do have um, two guppy items now and a reroll pedestal. I don't think that'll give us more guppy items. I think it'll just pull from like the universal pool. Dope ass name for a M Night Shyamalan film. That was a great time for a golden key to drop. And we get another red chest. It's not guppy, but still, I, you know, how can I complain? Hematomesis will take us back to full health, and all this stuff we're getting for free. So take your free key. Take your free bomb, and our battery charge will probably save for a little bit later. 
And that's even more money. Sweet, 19 cents. That was not very good damage. As soon as I got that HP, I probably should have endeavored not to squander it. Uh, that's okay, life goes on. I'll blow that up. This will blow this up. We definitely want another golden chest. They've been great to us so far. And you know what? We will gamble on this guy. I think the game is doing its best to salvage a victory from the Jaws of Defeat here that I pretty much set it up for. I set it up for the defeat, that is. Oh, that's exactly what we're looking for. And one more room. Curse of the Maze is going to fuck up our, uh, our order of doing things here, but that's okay. Blue Baby's only friend is a saving grace. Not that we were dead before, but Blue Baby's only friend allows us to uh, take out these enemies extremely easily. We don't suffer from the same kind of range uh, concerns. We don't suffer from the same kind of rage concerns as a result either. I can live my life in peace and, and harmony here. We are going to be way too slow for boss rush. Book of Secrets. Book of Secrets is okay. But mostly we want to lose it, and uh, you know what? Really great time for us to get Magic Mush, although there's never, like, not a great time to get Magic Mush. Tears Up! The dream is real! The mythical Tears Up pill! I've only heard about it in Legend! So it does exist. Will you be my hero? What's our rate of fire like now? Not awful, actually. And we'll take Nearsighted Friend, because it's probably the last opportunity we'll have to reroll that and still have a reroll ready for our boss room. Um, not that a reroll ready for our boss room means that much, now that I think about it, because we've already seen our deal with the devil. So you know what? Forget that. Let's just move along here. Why keep the Are You a Wizard appeal? Very sensible question. There's not a good answer to it. I wish I could then add to that and say, hey, here's my great reason, but no. It would actually be better to take a Tears Down pill We've already used I Can See Forever. It would be better to take a Tears Down pill because uh, it could become a Tears Up. How did they not blow up any mushrooms? That seems a little surprising. So we got three and three, two I Can See Forevers, but we already know we can use I Can See Forever here. We already have used I Can See Forever here, I should say, so we don't get any benefit, but still, it's a good pill. Flatworm is not necessary, but let's put it in the inverted uh, context there. Definitely the Cancer Trinket is necessary for us. Fallen. Hollow. Well, very easy at least, and probably some money to be gained. Yeah, super easy. Our deal with the devil sucks. Obviously, we're going to get it, but there's nothing in it. And we'll take Speedball. I think that's actually pretty valuable for us. Head down to the next floor. Very slow, but, you know, piecing together a, a pretty seemingly obvious win here. Use I can see forever. And really hope for... Nah, I probably should have seen that one coming. Really hope for uh, no Crampos here. Well, we got our HP back. A little self-sufficient there. 17 cents. This is good. Are you a wizard pill? That's not good, obviously. Bombs are key. Only because we have a golden key is this at all decent. But still, we did get something out of it, so I'm okay with that. We, get, we gained information at the very least. And information when it comes to pills can be valuable. We can then use these pills, you know, not as wild cards in the future. Actually have, like, a purpose for them. Thank God for that, uh... Blue Baby's only friend pickup, man. Were it not for that, we would be in some hot water at some point on this run. Maybe not, like, right now? Maybe not tomorrow, but every day for the rest of our lives. Don't need a teleport card, because we're not going to be doing boss rush on this run. It's just not, uh, conceivable. As much as I would love for it to be, it is not going to be. That was bad dodging at the end there, but I can live with it. Again, bombs are key. Okay, let's we'll switch them back. Perfect. Um, got the bloat fight. I... We got the bloat fight. We got Blue Baby's friend. We got the combination bloat fight and Blue Baby's friend. Cut. We're going to stop this video. Um, I'm ashamed of myself. The tears upgrade is nice. The spirit hearts... Largely irrelevant unless we need some more survivability. It is a Crampo fight. We knew it was going to happen at some point. He's got to, you know, you got to fight him. When you got Goathead especially, it's, it's like 99% odds it's going to happen. At least he gave us Lump of Coal. We can use that to our advantage. And uh, we have not seen an item room or a shop. So as much as I'd love to leave, we uh, can't see ourselves going yet. So we're going to come 
up and then around to the left. Everything I own is in a room to the left. That's not true, but it is an opportunity for a second Beyonce reference. I'm in this weird position where like, from the years like 2004, like 2012, I don't know any popular music, but I, I've spent a lot of time on the internet, so I've seen references to it. So I'm like, yeah, to the left, to the left. Uh, that's uh, that's that's that Beyonce song. I don't know what it's about. Um, I may have seen a parody on YouTube at one point. I'm assuming she's telling somebody to get out of her house. And people are like, yeah, that song. And I'm like, I don't know anything about that song. And they're like, yeah, yeah, whatever, man. You know it. You know it. And I, I, don't, I don't know it. I can understand how you think that, though. Uh, not good enough. Good enough, but not what we want. Two separate but related problems there. We did get PhD, so I'm stoked about that. We should have the opportunity as a result to pick up some actually uh, good pills. Not that we've seen exclusively bad pills, but we've seen a lot of bad pills. There you go, keep it up. Blue Baby's only friend carrying this one. For a goat head run, I gotta admit, we're kind of a little bit bereft of great items. But you gotta feel like maybe if we rerolled the nail, this would look different. But that's my own idiocy preventing me from doing that. Okay, well maybe we'll take our time and come up here again. 2020, yes. We are probably getting to the point where our actual tiers are gonna be pretty viable. I mean, they're already going to do a lot of damage. The only question is if we fire them frequently enough to actually make them worthwhile. Um, is one of these like a tears up now? Oh my god. We did get a tears up. We got hematemesis as well. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to tell. Might need like one more upgrade to really swing it in my favor. But um, what was our second secret room here? It's a bunch of pills. That's an RU wizard, so that's not changing anytime soon. Let's just head down to the next floor. Devil card is still fine. It was a, it was full of black cards. Well, it would be full of black cards if we used Hematemesis, but I gotta admit I'm a little lazy. HP is not really our problem. It's entirely rate of fire, which is entirely my own fault, but that's okay. We're still doing fine here. We're on, well, we got five seconds left to get to boss rush. I got high hopes and those hopes are dashed. We have now lost our opportunity to get to boss rush. I don't know what happened, I apologize. Four seconds ago, it seemed like we really had it all under control. Our arcade is an opportunity to holster our gun at Gamora here. Let's see what we got. No nuns have it, but I'll, I'll gamble regardless here. We have fanny packs, so I'm assuming, you know, some consumables, and they ended up being predominantly red hearts there, which gives us an opportunity to gamble even more. Maybe we'll get a chance to donate most of this money. See, I'm a selfless gambler. I just want you to know. We will take that, okay. That went really well. We picked up HP and uh, quite a lot of money. And then a chest within a chest. It gives us a luck upgrade, which I'm extremely happy to see. Great stuff. Teleportation card not necessary. Uh, we could spend two keys and get six bombs. Now that, on the surface, seems like a great deal. But I don't really want more bombs at this point. Kind of feel like probably not going to use them too often. I know we have a huge surplus of keys. At this point, I'm just trying to find, like, game-endorsed ways to promote my laziness. And hey, there's a good one right there. Sad bombs. With sad bombs, we don't need to get more bombs. We just picked up five extra ones right there. Now we got a good balance. We will take BFF. We will donate as much money as the game will allow us. And for once, I actually mean that. We've done really well with our donation machine lately. Of course, we haven't uh, won. Well, we haven't been winning as much lately, I guess. We've still been winning. Um, got another luck upgrade. Good for the chest. And what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Sad bombs will do a lot of damage as well. And we'll, you know, sad bombs will be able to put down about as often as we uh, are able to fire our actual shots to begin with anyway, so. Actually, you know what is a big problem for us now is not really rate of fire, but range and shot speed. Which again, not surprising, but a uh, little disappointing. Hopefully we can pick up a, a synergy that just mitigates these issues quickly. No mapping. Very slightly salt inducing. We're gonna have to do every single room, but this should be a good opportunity for us to do a lot of damage to Blue Mom quickly as a result of our uh, BFF. BFF works well with a lot of what we got going on right now. We got Orbitals, we got Blue Baby's only friend, we got the combination uh, Orbitals, Blue Baby's only friend. 
Why does that sentence come out of my mouth fine? But when I try to say like the name of the arcade, I'm like, oh, well, well, second secret room. I don't know why. I swallowed a fly, I guess I'll die. We didn't get any good setups there on that deal with the devil. Just three red chests, and little did we know, but that would be our last deal with the devil. At least unless we get a, uh, a joker card on the cathedral. That's really disappointing. So our deal with the devil, well, our goat head, let's put it that way, gave us dark matter, demon baby, and precedent, which I appreciate there. Uh... Lump of coal. That's a pretty shit haul for, like, four deals with the devil. Maybe we can just get another guppy item from a red chest related area. That is not a red chest related area. I think guppy's head is the only guppy item you can get from a golden chest under normal circumstances. Are you a wizard? Yeah, it's a great pill. So I don't think that we're missing anything. Well, we're not missing any guppy items by not opening golden chests, at least. We should still win this run, though. Like, we've got good potential. Um, we should get all those keys as well, because there's a really good chance we'll get a lot of chest drops on the chest. Some of them may be golden chests, even though we don't have guppy's tail. That would be a good compromise. If you want to give me guppy's tail, I'll go back and get that key. It's a win-win-win situation. One of these days. We're going to complete the guppy dream. Oh, we're actually going to finish this floor super quickly, which is also a pretty happy medium. Uh, hap Long Island Happy Medium is my favorite show on TLC, by the way. See, that's how you know I genuinely have cable. I know Long Island Medium is a show. My favorite, the, obviously a lot has been made of like border security. I talk about the border security shows all the time. It's a guilty pleasure. I don't watch them that much anymore, but... Um, there's a guilty pleasure status associated with those without a doubt. My new favorite guilty pleasure is Tiny House. Tiny House, like it's a series of shows. There's like Tiny House Builders, Tiny House Homeowners and stuff like that. It's all about like building the world's smallest house and then living in it. There's nothing wrong with it, you know, if you want to live in your house like that, then, then that's okay. But they're always like, they're building a tiny house and they're like, I want a tiny house because it's cool. You know, I like how you have to use space in different ways. And then they do something and they're like, wow, it's really small. And you're like... You fucking wanted a tiny house! What do you- you don't- if you want a tiny house, you don't get to say that it's- it's tiny! That's like if you were like, oh, uh, it's a show for spicy things, and you go, oh, that's pretty spicy, I don't know. You signed up for Spice Hunters, okay? You don't get to- you don't get to say this is too spicy. Tiny house is like, I don't know if I want a- a bath- a combination toilet bathtub shower. That's also in my living room and separated from my kid's bedroom by, like, a staircase that turns into 12 bookshelves. It's... it's tiny house! You're the one who wanted the tiny house, the tiny... It's not like someone was like, hey, move into a tiny house, you little bitch. No, it's... You, you, you don't understand the absurdity inherent in your own... in your own life. It's a tiny house. Is, that's tiny house. There's reality shows about everything now. I know I've been saying that for like 10 years. There really like now are reality shows about everything. It'll be like, ice cream truck driver. And you're like, well, I don't know. It's going to be a hell of a day out there. 110 degrees. The the reality shows that I still enjoy. Um, I got to admit, I like Pawn Stars. You learn a lot of history on Pawn Stars and it's done in a way that is not... Um, uh, the way history is often taught is kind of boring, like... You know, dudes in tweed jackets from the University of some city in England you've never heard of being like, well, most Viking bra bracelets were originally made out of bounded copper. This is a little bit more relatable for most audiences. You know, I, I can get down with either most of the time, not just to make myself sound like I'm better than anybody else. But I appreciate the Pawn Stars teaches you a little bit. I'm not sure how much I trust it, but it's also, like, entertaining. If it's on, I'll watch. It, cer it certainly beats the shit out of Storage Wars. Ah, oh, I gotta get that locker. Um, but mind your profanity is a great moment in that. So let's see what we got here. Uh, all of these are not good enough or not interesting enough in the case of Epic Fetus for me to want to take. But, um, that's, that's it, man. It's Pawn Stars and cooking shows. I can get into cooking shows. Just because it's it's nice background noise, and you go, oh, I don't know if you should use the ice cream machine. The ice, oh, you don't know how to use the ice cream machine too long, you're gonna turn into whipped cream, buddy. Classic chopped mistake. That's what separates the chopped champions from the chopped runners up. 
You want to be chopped, champion, or you want to get chopped? I think the answer to that question is obvious. But the, the inundation of reality TV shows is like... It's reached a new era. There's not every mundane job in the world. I don't know how we don't have a YouTuber one yet. I don't want to be the focus of it. But I would love to watch like a, you know, true life, I am a YouTuber or something like that. It would be fucking hilarious. Most YouTubers I know, and this is going to sound self-serving, okay? But most YouTubers I know work their asses off but and wake up at like 1 p.m. So it would basically be like, hey, it's 3 a.m., I'm making like a Minecraft video. Uh, and then they'd sleep for nine hours and then they'd get up, work for like nine hours, and then be like, okay, I'm going to go get like a burrito and then I'm going to stream. It would be the worst show on television, in a somewhat ironic fashion. Maybe, maybe I'm missing out. Maybe there's some more high drama in circles that I don't run in. Take this. Take uh, no. We're not gonna take anything else. We'll just take the HP. We probably don't even need the HP to be honest with you. The problem is uh, here's the problem I think with most reality TV. For something to be interesting enough to watch, those people aren't gonna want to be filmed. Like there is this TV show. Oh, there is an exception as well. Intervention. I feel bad, but Intervention is a great watch, man. You see people and they're like, their lives are so out of control. And it's sad, but at the same time, it is entertaining. And I gotta admit, I really like watching like prison shows. Like, like scared, straight, and stuff like that. To see like 12 year old kids who are like, I stole a candy bar. And then they just got like, the leader of a gang yelling at them like, You think it's cool to steal candy bars, motherfucker? You're gonna end in here, up in here like me! And they're like, oh, okay, I'm hard. I'll steal as many Butterfingers as I want. And then they eventually, like, cry, and they bond with their parents. It's great mo It's great television, okay? That doesn't make me a terrible person to watch that, but... Um, like, if I wanted to see, like, like... I want to see, like, true life, I'm a hardcore criminal. But they're never going to do it, because as soon as it was on TV, they'd just be arrested, right? But the insights into those worlds, we... Those are, those are more, you know, educational and valuable. That's kind of why I like border security, because sometimes people will be on there, you know, and they'll be like, yeah, I'm just coming back from, uh, you know, Thailand, nothing to hide, and then they search them, and they've got nothing to hide. And then they're like, yeah, but we still got, like, traces of, like, methamphetamines from your shoe soles, and then they, like, drill into their shoes, and there's a single vial of, like, meth or something in there, and then they're like, dude, was convicted of trafficking $535,000 worth of meth and was put in jail for 80 years, you're like, what?! He seems so relatable. Anyway, that's this run. We won. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You can catch Border Security Wednesday nights on uh, National Geographic Channel for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. I've said a great deal, but I'll see you next time.